But for all you middle schoolers who are starting to begin algebra or high schoolers, this is going to be the lesson for you. So this lesson is about how to solve equations and let's just hop into the first question. So you're given the question x plus 3 is equal to 5. How would you solve for x? So the question is asking to solve for x. So what you need to do is you need to take away this 3. What do I mean? So what's the opposite of 3? Because whenever you're solving equations, you have to do the opposite operation. So what's the opposite of plus 3? It's minus 3, right? So you're going to subtract 3 on both sides. And now, why would I subtract on both sides? Because whenever you're solving for an equation, whatever you do on the right side, you have to do on the left side. And whatever you do on the left side, you have to do on the right side. So the opposite operation of add is subtract. So we have to take away this 3. And this leaves us with what's... 3 minus 3, it's 0. So this cancels out. So that gives us, on the left side, x is equal to 5 minus 3. And what is 5 minus 3? It's 2. Meaning your answer has to be 2. So if you guys didn't understand that, here's the second example. So we have x plus 2 is equal to 7. And now, what is the op opposite operation of plus? It's minus. What do we subtract? We subtract this value right here, 2. So we have to subtract 2 on the left. And as I just said, whatever we do on the left, we do on the right. So what's 7 minus 2? And now that gives us 2 minus 2, which cancels out, because 2 minus 2 is 0, right? You know that. 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. This cancels out and leaves us with x. Right? We bring down the x is equal to 7 minus 2. What is 7 minus 2? It's 5. Meaning your answer is x is equal to 5. And now that's how you approach addition questions. And now let's hop into subtraction questions. So you're given x minus 3 is equal to 5. And now how would we solve for x? We do the opposite operation. What's the opposite operation of minus? It's add. It's plus, right? So what do we add? We add 3 because that's the number we add. And now whatever we do on the left, remember to do on the right. We also add 3. This gives us x minus 3 plus 3. And the 3s cancel out because negative 3 plus 3 is equal to 0. So this just leaves us on the left with x is equal to 5 plus 3, which is equal to 8. And that's going to be your answer. Let's move on to this question. x minus 2 is equal to 7. Remember how to do minus questions. You have to do the opposite operation. And what do you add? I'll give you a second to think about that. What do you add? You're adding what number? You're adding number 2. And remember, whatever we do on the left, we do on the right. Negative 2 plus 2, what's negative 2 plus 2? That's equal to 0. So this cancels out, bring down the x, gives us x is equal to 7 plus 2, which is equal to 9. And remember, to always check your solution by plugging in the value of x back in. So what's the value of x that we solve for? The value is 9. So let's plug in the value of 9 right here. So 9 minus 2 is equal to 7. What's 9 minus 2? It's 7. Is 7 equal to 7? Yes. So your answer is correct. And now let's move on from addition and subtraction to multiplication. So you have 2 times x is equal to 6. So 2 times some number is equal to 6. Now how would you solve this? Remember, in this we did the op opposite operation, which in this case was addition because this was subtraction. In this case was subtraction because this one was addition. But now, what is the opposite of multiplication? It's division. So instead of adding a number, in this case, we're going to divide by a number. What number are we going to divide by? We're going to divide by this number right here. So 2x divided by 2. And now we're going to divide because 2 divided by 2 is what? 2 divided by 2 is 1. And what is 1x? 1x, 1x right, right here is basically equal to x. Is equal to what? Remember, whatever we do on the left, we have to do on the right. What did we do on the left? We divided by 2. So we also have to divide by 2. What's 6 divided by 2? 6 divided by 2 is 3, meaning the value of x is equal to 3. Now let's look on. Let's look at this example. So how would we do this? I'll give you a second to think about that. You can pause the video if you want to try to solve it yourself, but let's do this. So how do we solve this? Remember what we did in the first question, we divided by this number right here. So what do we divide by right here? We have to divide because it's a multiplication question, three times x, we divide by this number right here, which is three. 
And whatever we do on the left, we do on the right. And what did we do on the left? We divided by 3. So we have to divide this by 3 as well. 3 divided by 3, what is that? That's equal to 1. So we have 1x, which is just equal to x. So x is equal to 12 divided by 3. What is 12 divided by 3? It's 4, meaning your value is x is equal to 4. And that's how you solve multiplication questions. And now let's look at division questions. So we have 1 half x is equal to 6. And now we have 1 half x is equal to 6. If it's a fraction, that means we're basically just dividing because 1 half x, 1 half x is equal to x over 2. So that's a division question, not a multiplication question. So if you see a fraction, this is a, mul this is a division question, not a multiplication question where you see a whole number or a number greater than 1. And now 1 half x is equal to 6. This is division. And what's the opposite of division? It's multiplication. But what do we multiply by? We have to multiply by the base or the reciprocal. So what is a reciprocal? A reciprocal is just when you flip the number, you flip the fraction. So what's 2 over 1 over 2 as a reciprocal? Its reciprocal is 2 on top and 1 on bottom. We just flip the numbers, right? We flip the numbers. And now what is 2 over 1 equal to? This is equal to 2, right? 2 over 1 is equal to 2. And this gives you, and now knowing 2, what we have to do is, because this is a division question, we have to multiply by that number. So we're going to multiply both sides by 2. So 2 times 1 half x. And whatever we do on the left, which we multiplied by 2, we have to do on the right. Now we have to multiply by 2. So 2 times 1 half is equal to 1. 2 times 1 half is equal to 1, which is just x is equal to 6 times 2, which is equal to 12. And that's going to be your answer. Now let's look at this example right here. So we have 1 thirds x is equal to 12. And now what is the reciprocal of 1 third? 1 thirds, the reciprocal, we flip the numbers. So on top is 3, on the bottom is 1. 3 over 1, what is that equal to? That's equal to 3. And now knowing this, we have to multiply this because it's a division question. We have to multiply both sides by 3. On the left, on the right. 3 times 1 third, that just gives us 1x. So 1x or x is equal to what? 12 times 3. What is 12 times 3? It's 36. And that's going to be your answer. So remember, if you see a multiplication question, such as this one right here, you're going to divide. And if you see a division question, which is basically when you're multiplying by a negative, I mean, by a number less than 1, but greater than 0, you're going to have to multiply by its reciprocal. Remember how to figure out its reciprocal? You just flip, change the number. So the 2 goes on top and the 1 goes on bottom. In this case, the 3 goes on top and the 1 goes on the bottom. Now, let's look at a harder example, which I'll give you guys some time to solve if you guys need to, so pause the video. But this question deals with, so this question deals with everything. We have multiplication, but we also have addition. And now what's the first step to finding this? What we have to do is we're going to take out any number that doesn't have an x in it. In this case, it's going to be plus 5. So we have plus 5. What's the opposite of plus? It's minus. What are we subtracting? This number right here. So we have to subtract 5 on both sides. This leaves us with what? So 5 minus 5 is 0. So this cancels out, right? You guys got to know that. 5 minus 5 is equal to 0. And that just leaves us on the left side with 3x because we bring it down because nothing's taking out the x is equal to 17 minus 5. Remember, whatever you do on the left, we have to do on the right. Remember that rule. So what's 17 minus 5? That's 12. And now we have 3x is equal to 12. Remember, we're looking back at this. So when, if it's a multiplication question, what do we do? We have to divide. What do we divide by? We divide by this number right here. So we have to divide by 3. Whatever we do on the left, we do on the right. Remember that rule, or else you'll get the question wrong. So what's 3 divided by 3? It's 1, right? 3 divided by 3 is 1. That leaves us with x is equal to 12 divided by 3. What's 12 divided by 3? 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4, meaning your answer is x is equal to 4, because in all of these questions, we're solving for the value of x. And now let's look at this question right here. So what's our first step? Remember, we have to find x. So we have to take out anything that doesn't have x in it. What doesn't have x in it? Negative 3. And it's a minus question. So what do we do? We have to add. What do we add? We add this number right here. So plus 3. Remember, whatever we do on the left, we do on the right. 
So we adding, we're adding 3 on both sides. This leaves us with what's negative 3 plus 3? Negative 3 plus 3 is equal to 0. So this cancels out. And we bring down the 1 fourth x is equal to 13 plus 3. What's 13 plus 3? 13 plus 3 is equal to 16. And now, this is a division question, right? Remember, if it's a fraction multiplied by x, it's a division question. What do we do when it's a division question? We figure out the reciprocal. So what's the reciprocal of 1 fourth? Remember, bottom number goes on top, so it's 4 over bottom number, which is 1. What's 4 over 1? 4 over 1 is basically 4. And now knowing that the reciprocal is 4, what do we do? We have to multiply. What do we multiply by? We multiply by the reciprocal. So we multiply both sides by 4. On the left, multiply by 4. On the right, multiply by 4. So it's 4 times 1 fourth. 4 times 1 fourth. That's equal to 4 over 4, which is 1. Leaving us with 1x, which is just equal to x, is equal to 16 times 4. What's 16 times 4? That's equal to 64. Meaning your answer is 64 for this question. So now, as you guys can see, this is how you're going to solve equations. Remember, this is just a recap. So what you're going to do, if it's an addition question, you're going to subtract. If it's a subtraction question, you're going to add. If it's a multiplication question, you're going to divide. If it's a division question, you're going to multiply. And you're going to do all these steps if it's one big equation like this. Now, hopefully you learned something and peace out.